everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com. And today I want to touch on an issue that I've experienced since upgrading to WooCommerce 2.0.5, and I know a lot of other people have as well. Specifically, the issue is related to shipping and shipping methods where you get a message, an error message that says, sorry, it seems there are no available shipping methods for your location, uh, even though you have set that location as one of the available shipping methods. So for example, I'm out on our demo site, uh, worldcuptees.com, and if I were to add this, uh, go to this product, uh, this t-shirt, and add it to my cart, and then I go to the cart, you'll see that I get this message uh, right here that says, sorry, it seems that there are no available shipping methods for your location, United States. If you require assistance or wish to make alternate arrangements, please contact us. Well, that started happening after upgrading to uh, the latest version of uh, WooCommerce. So in the meantime, until this bug is fixed, I'm going to show you a workaround that uh, uh, you can use if you have flat rate uh, shipping methods set up uh, on your WooCommerce site. So if we log into the WordPress admin, uh, you can see that I'm currently using WooCommerce version 2.0.5. And if we go to our shipping method setup, you'll see that I have for specific countries United States set as a specific country and again if you go to the error uh, error message and take a look at it it says that there are no shipping methods for this location even though you can clearly see I do have them set up here so here's a workaround uh, for this this bug um, so if we scroll down to cost per order this needs to have uh, a value in it in order to get this message this uh, error message here to go away so let me show you what happens if I put in let's just say one dollar and then I have my shipping methods the same they're all set up uh, set up the same as they were before right here and if I just go down and save changes and we go back out to the site and refresh the page this message should go away okay so now our shipping options um, shipping methods actually appear but there's another problem now it shows that one dollar that I put in this uh, cost per order field it shows up as a shipping method which I don't want uh, and then it also adds that dollar onto uh, my other uh, shipping methods as you can see here so, uh, for ground shipping it says 399 even though it's, it should say 299 okay so we need to now find a workaround for that to get that to work properly because uh, if we take a look these are my original shipping methods right here no matter what, I want these still to show up on the site, um, but I'm going to have to tweak them a bit to get them to show up like this out on the site, uh, given this current bug with WooCommerce shipping. So what I'm going to do is go back into the admin, and I'm going to just uh, change this around a little bit uh, so that the end result is that I get these shipping methods right here to show up out on the site. All right. So the key is you have to have a value in this cost per order field. So what I'm going to do is I'll change this cost per order because as you can see it shows up right here as the one dollar as the first option no matter what. So I'm just going to change this to my ground shipping option. I'm going to change the method title. Right now the method title says flat rate with one dollar. Okay, so I'm just going to tweak that to say ground shipping five to seven days, three ninety nine, and I'm going to get rid of uh, this actual method right here. So let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, I'll just walk you through this, how I would go ahead and tweak this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And then for method title, I'll paste it in. And then um, for cost per order, I'll go ahead and put in 299 right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete that method from the additional rates uh, text field here. But now I need to tweak my remaining or my other three options because 299 is going to be added on to each one of them. So if I truly wanted to show 499, then what I need to do is just go 499 minus 299. So I need to change that from 499 to two dollars. And do the same thing for express shipping. If I wanted to show 6.99, then I need to go 
minus the 299 that's going to be added on because of this uh, bug right now. So four, so I'll change that to four dollars. And the same thing for uh, my next day option. If I wanted to show 9.99, then I need to do the same thing. Minus 2.99, and change that to seven dollars. All right. So if I go ahead and update that or save those changes. I should get my uh, original shipping methods back and it should all be working how I wanted it to before uh, this bug occurred. So if I go ahead and refresh the page and then scroll down, you'll see I have the shipping methods set up now exactly how I want them. Um, the error message uh, is gone and everything is back uh, in working order. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Again, if I go back in here, I'll just show you the setup. Uh, the main thing was for cost per order you have to have something in you have to have a value in there whether it's one dollar or ten dollars you have to show something but then when you do that this cost per order will be added on to your other shipping methods uh, or your, your additional rates so then you'll have to adjust your additional rates by minusing this from them and changing it to the new number like I did here so that you get your actual shipping rates or shipping methods uh, with the rate that you want to show. So hopefully that helps. Uh, I know that's confusing and uh, it kind of sucks that you have to do that right now, but until they get that fixed, uh, this is a workaround for it. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com. Check out our other WooCommerce tutorials out on our site. Thanks.